Hey, what's up guys? Fuel up 727 back at you guys with another video. So, it's been a week since I posted, or two weeks I believe, but we have good reasons why. So, I have been trying to find software to record my laptop and sound because I'm thinking about letting you guys in on the tuning world for Dodges. Because I know there's barely any videos out on YouTube, and the forms on Google are pretty confusing. Um, so I was thinking about that, so I got uh, recording software for that. And also, we have a tuning project. So you guys know that uh, I've tuned my, my 2014 Ram. Um, I just uh, finished my... Um, tuning school courses on Dodge engines and transmissions so I have certificates for that but that's only for the knowledge part not the actual thing but it's still a certification and I still know more than I did before which is always good but so we're going to have a little series go on and it's a project for our new project vehicle so, this weekend I went and got a 1999 Dodge Ram 1500-5.2. And that's the 318 and it's a 4-speed automatic. Doesn't she look good? So, this is going to be our tuning project. Uh, and also some other things that need to be fixed on it. I did get it for a pretty good deal, um, but it is the very cleanest body I have seen for this year, this engine, with the miles in my state, which is Missouri. So it's the cleanest I've seen with a, that's a single cab. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a little walkthrough, and then I'll tell you what uh, we got to do to it, and then I'll go on about uh, some tuning stuff. So, it is a two-wheel drive, automatic, 5.2. Now, they did plasti dip that, and we're going to have to fix the hood latch, because right now, we got a weed whacker string that undoes the hood. And then, it's got 16-inch tires. It does have a little caved-in section and some surface rust on the door. I mean, this truck mainly just has some surface rust. Um, let me zoom out. Don't freak you guys out. So yeah, that's that's the whole thing right there. That's what we got. So I don't know what gears it is it has, but let me get you guys in here the frame for it being a ninety nine. The frame and leaf springs and axle look pretty minty. I just got done, too, cleaning out the bed. I had had a toolbox in the back, and uh, this guy was a construct or, uh, construction worker, so dirt and trash. So I went ahead and cleaned it out. And it's missing the bezel for the handle, so... We're going to need that and we're also going to need a new a new front bumper because it's bent in the front now don't mind that i already started on the project and i forgot to record but yeah this is the only worst this is the worst spot out of the entire truck is that little chip so that means russ has already got underneath the paint but we'll fix that we'll get this truck all cleaned up, lower it, exhaust eventually, and some engine stuff. And then here's my, win my window. So, one of the reasons why I got this truck for such a great deal is because the window was broken out and then he just decided to put this plastic wrap from AutoZone on it and tape. Let me tell you, the ride home was loud. Super loud. And then the uh blower motors out on here 
but we're gonna need a new badge because that's broken and then we're gonna come right back up to the front bumper and I'm gonna show you where exactly it's messed up so right there it's straight messed up bent straight so cosmetic is bumper bezel window and then it does have a massive exhaust leak uh, from the exhaust manifold on passenger side but let me open this oh and then we got I guess they tried prying the door open but I'll just try hammer this down and maybe some body filler and it'll be good as new I gotta unlock it first Got my keys jing jingling jing jing jingling jing. Alright. So I don't know if you guys can smell it through the video, but uh smells like ashes. He was a heavy smoker. And if you guys saw, we had the door panel off of this one. Aftermarket radio is right down there. And here's the uh plastic piece that goes around the, the dash broken gonna need a new one of those and it is a bench seat automatic so we only got two fancy pedals um everything else works in here except for the, the blower motor and then obviously the headliner is missing so i mean it only needs a few things to actually get it going and looking good so now that i showed you guys the outside the inside what needs to be fixed on it uh, I'm gonna show you guys what we have already of course doors having issues opening I don't think I lock oh I probably did lock it yeah all right so I'll bring you guys on in so first thing we got was a window for it because I'm tired of this and how annoying that is going down the road plus it needs a window so went to uh, eBay picked this up for 60 bucks brand new window for this body style for this truck so so yeah, we're going to, I've already got these taken out. And these are the old ones of the old wind, window. So I took these out because it was broken. Uh, we're gonna have to come in here with a vacuum or something and get all this glass out. Cause I don't wanna hear that. So, I'm going to get a vacuum, vacuum it out, and then I'll be back with showing you guys the install of this new window. Alright guys, got it all vacuumed out, cleaned this out, because usually when there's a shattered window, it probably will get stuck in there. Didn't know that until now, but we're going to try and put the window in. So... Get that out. Uh, we'll one hand this. All right. 
Got that out. There we go. And now we just have to fit it into these. All right, so now, so this is what, this is where I had to try and get the glass. In between these, in between these little strips, and same for the other side, had to try and get it through there. So we did that inside the door. So now, what we got to do is line up our window right there they're both in well a little bit all right so i'm just going to go ahead get my nuts which are 10 millimeters thread it on all right got it threaded on now we'll come back with our ratchet. Like I said, these are 10 millimeter bolts. And start tightening them up. All right, I don't wanna to do too tight because this is my first time doing a, a window, so. Just do it to where it's tight and it's not going to back off, but not too tight because I'm afraid it'll either strip out the bolt or just not be a good time. All right, so let's see if it rolls up. Hey, hey. Got it done. All right. So now we got the window in. It's bolted in. And yes, there was some shrapnel of glass still left in there, but we got it out of the way. So now, uh, we'll clean out our inside. Uh, I guess like glass panel we'll dump this out and then we'll put this in and then we'll put the plastic piece in all right so we got it all cleared out of glass nothing in there so the slanted edges go angled downwards and then we're putting it I may have misspoken. I have misspoken. Angle pieces angle upwards because this little flapper deal hugs the window. So we're putting this little lip here in this right here. So. Press it down. It's in. So now, well, before we put this on, I took off my mirror, which is three 10 millimeter bolts right in the corner over here. Three 10 millimeter bolts. So I took it off because took it off because the person before me that had the plastic over the window actually put it underneath the mirror and bolted the mirror back in 
So we're just going to do that. So roll our new window down. Place it in here and then just bolt it up. Pretty self-explanatory. It's just three 10 millimeter bolts. We've got our plastic. So as you can tell, two bolts for the handle. One bolt by the mirror. And that's how this thing holds on. Uh, actually, yeah, that's how it holds on. So, there's supposed to be plastic clips, too, that hold the door on. But I am missing, oh, well, whoever did this, the guy before me, didn't do it right. So, they're actually supposed to just slide in there, and it wasn't, so. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Let's figure it out. Slide through the handle first. It's always what you're wanting to do first. And then, once you get that, Haha, <laughs> silly me. Ugh. Forgot to take my handle off. My window handle. Make sure that's off or else you'll uh, get nowhere. So, now it slides on how it's supposed to. Get your door lock. there and then we are not down now we're down all the way so now we just gotta screw it in now I was missing a bolt so don't worry about that. One should get it done. Alright, that's tight. And then, got the other one. Goes right on up in here. Well, probably should make sure it's lined up. Alrighty, now oh, there we go. So now, we thread this bad boy in. And uh, for the final touches to make it, mwah, you just put your crank on and then you just go to town with your new window. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Now it's sealed. So, uh, yeah. No longer need this piece of tape. There we go. So, yeah, that's how you guys do a window install. So, that's it for you guys. We put this brand new window. Oh, hey there. Oh, all right. Well, I'll see you later, guys. All right. So, we got our new window in. Uh, next thing is probably going to be either replacing the plastic bezel goes around the uh instrument panel or we'll try and uh replace the blower motor so we can actually have heat in the truck and that's the only two things on the inside that really need needed attention to get it functioning right i hope you guys enjoyed the video and like i said earlier i want to try and do more tuning videos and show you guys uh at least my knowledge of what i've uh learned and what the do's and don'ts are uh, with tuning, especially Dodges. Um, I use HB tuners, and I've got their regular version and their beta version. Now, for um, 95 to 2003, uh, the 39 V6, the 52, and the 59 V8s are all now uh, tunable through HB tuners as of like. I think a year or two ago 
Um, I'll go in more information about those, but uh, this this truck now is uh, 99, so we're going to be using the beta version to tune it. Uh, comment below if you guys would like to see the tuning videos. Um, I mean, I'm going to be doing them, but just comment comment down below if you're uh, excited about seeing videos like this. Um, but yeah, it's going to be like a new little series of videos. I'm sorry for rambling on. I'm just, I'm excited about it and I'm trying to get you guys pumped for it. Uh, yeah, just comment down below and comment uh, if you think this window looks pretty minty and uh, if it helps you out. All right, that's it this time, guys. I'll see you next week. Fuel up, out.